Pauling is a special place, in a valley at the Berkshire space. Fredericksburg was our colonial name. In 1788, Pauling it then became. Many trains would push through in 1852. Milk and eggs fresh from the dairy, along with visitors it would carry. One hundred years later, McGrath's stood here. No better diner for food, gossip, and cheer. Those unmeasured days are now in the past. The MTA railroad commutes people fast. Enter the chamber and check out the green, gazebo and all. What a wonderful scene. Concerts and gatherings, what a place it will be, connecting past and future of our community. Now let's get started. No more delays. Go to the pine adorned on festive days. Walk southeast. No time to relax. Look both ways before crossing the tracks. Go to the top of the steps. You should count nine. Stop and gaze at the tall oaks standing in line. Walk past the thirteen yellow ribbons tied to the trees. Remember our men who died to keep us free. Stop after the ninth oak and pause at the plaque. Wow, it's a time capsule so that we can look back. So, your grandchildren, how old will they be when the capsule is opened in 2093? Now cross to the brick building with four tall columns. Still remaining are village offices and loud sirens. Can you imagine it back in earlier days with a long fire pole? and two fire truck bays. Stroll down the avenue. Stop at number three. Once home to our chronicle. Now it's history. Our weekly news stories are in a changed state. New form of media keeps us up to date. Walk to the corner where there was once a white picket fence where we will be going once cost only 25 cents. Walk southeast and stop where houses are sold. This was once a movie theater, so we were told. Great shops and food on this side of the tracks. Come back at your leisure. It's time for more facts. Now back to the corner and stop at the crossing. Face southwest, but don't yet start walking. Be sure the cars stop, and then count to three. Proceed to the place where dogs stop to uh, pee. Where Main Street East means Main Street West. Go to the community sign where events are addressed. This avenue was Railroad, then Maple Boulevard, now Charles Coleman, for our vigilant police guard. Continue walking for one half block and stop at the green relay box. Now cross the street and then make your way to Ed's Bench, just past the corner cafe. As you sit on the bench, remain calm and tranquil. The clock keeps ticking, yet time stands still. To the left stands a statue in the small garden, taken too soon, a native child not forgotten. A memorial honors locals taken from our shores, young scouts lay poppies to remember the wars. A resort hotel where the streets were unpaved with a grand ballroom in an arch not saved. The Dutcher House is the centerpiece of Pauling. 
walk to Arch Street, but return for some shopping. Gifts and crafts to fulfill all yearnings and dining choices to satisfy all cravings. Walk north to broad, past antiques, books and more. Such a charming village. Come back and explore. Weary hikers from the Appalachian Trail stop in Pauling to send and receive mail. Walk west to the Peace Pole made of wood. Your treasure is close by. You're doing real good. Just a little bit further, the treasure awaits you. Now it is time to give you the big clue. Go quietly now, and without further ado, find Dewey number VCJ Weebelow's Den 2. Next time you are here, take time to explore the many places you may have overlooked before.